Welcome to this quick hit video for Blackboard at CityU. Today I'm going to show you how to find your survey results for a mid-course survey, so a Blackboard survey, any kind of Blackboard survey. So you'll want to go to the course, like I'm in my workspace at the moment, and in the course you'll go to the Grade Center, the Full Grade Center, so you can either click on Grade Center and go to Full Grade Center, or you can just click on this little arrow right here to go take you to the Full Graders Grade Center. Next, you'll find the survey itself. So you'll see the check marks here, four of my students, all of my students have taken it. And to find feedback, what I wanna do is go to the head, the top of the column, and click on the contextual arrow here. And up near the top is attempt statistics. And if I click on this, it will give me some nice, pretty uh, report about who has answered what. So you'll see that there's percentages, and because I know I have four students, I know that I have split one student on each of these answers for this first uh, Likert scale question. So I can go through, I can see if anyone's didn't answer particular questions. I can see where, you know, maybe I need to improve. It looks like did pretty good on encouraging active role in the class. However, maybe these split ones I should look at again, and uh, maybe the ones that have some disagree I should take a look at using textbooks maybe a little bit more in my class for the rest of the quarter. Um, this particular survey is a mid-course survey. And then the last question I have is an open essay question. So I can see no one did not respond, so I have four responses here from four of my students. So I can see what's been typed out uh, from each of them. So what I want to do is save it so that I have it once this course is no longer available to me. If this was a live course, it would eventually go away. So what I want to do is print it and not print it on hard, I mean you can print it on hard copy, um, but what I do is do control P for those of you on PCs to print. Uh, otherwise you can find the file button on your whatever browser you're using and click on print and do whatever you typically do to print a page on a Mac if you're on a Mac. And under the printer name, instead of printing to a hard copy um, like you normally do, you'll want to find P Adobe PDF or PDF Creator and then hit OK. And what this will do is it will create a PDF version of this report. And what I want to make sure to do is name it specifically. So I'm making sure it has the section on it as well as the summer term and year. So I'm going to save this. It'll take a minute to convert it into a PDF. And I have it set to automatically open to show me when it's created. So now I have this file I can keep and refer to um, later, but I can also start using this feedback to make changes in my live shell this quarter. So the other way you can find um, this information, it's a little less pretty, um, but it gives you the raw data, is by going to the same place in the Full Grade Center, the contextual menu at the top of the survey, and clicking on download results. And this will um, allow you to get an Excel version of it. So I would leave everything the same. So you want it tab by user, only valid attempts, and then click to download results. So I'm just gonna open it with Excel. And you'll see that it um, doesn't match. That's fine, it's a text. It's it's a tab file, so I'm just going to open it anyway. And you'll see that it's a little bit, you know, busy. It's not as nice as the other version. But you'll see the question, the actual question written out, and then each of the students' um, answers to this question. So answer one, all of the answers are here. You may notice that some questions have a little extra uh, tags in them, and to just clean that up, you'll just uh, delete what's within the uh, brackets, and then you have a very nice uh, 
thing. So if you scroll all the way over to the right, you'll see that the answer 9 is that open-ended essay question. And then once you finish and you, you're good, you just want to make sure to save it same as the PDF. So file and save. It's, you know, a different type of file, so I just got to make sure to save it. Um, and so in the Save As type, you're going to want to change Unicode text to Excel Workbook. And then just make sure to name it very specifically again, uh, if this is the type of file you want. And then Save. And um, I have a PDF. I do not want to change it. And there we go. That is how you find your survey answers uh, within Blackboard.